Hello everyone and welcome to Chorister Theory Quiz number four for grades one and two. Um, so I hope you had a good week, enjoyed your live rehearsals as well with either me, Mr Cook or Miss Morgan. Um, and yeah, we'll go to the answers um, for last week's one and two and then we'll obviously get to this week's questions as well. So um, last week's question number one was to do with the time signature of this piece and we wanted you to describe it. Um, and so you can see I've got it in, the, in that red box there. It's three crotchet beats in a bar because it's three, four. And we can also call that simple triple time. Um, yeah. So question number two, what major key are we in? We're in A major. So in that red box, we've got three sharps. So A major. Question number three is what was the highest note of the soprano part? Um, it's this F sharp on the second system. Um, on the syllable far of father. Um, so well done if you got that. Question number four was allegro mean? It means fast or lively, so it's like kind of a general fast tempo. It's right there at the top. Question five, so the dynamic um, that you're seeing for this whole page um, is you see it at the very top um, and it's forte, F, um, which means strong or loud. Um, Question number six, what kind of service do we sing the Te Deum? It's matins, so our first Sunday service. So well done if you, if you remember that. Next question, um, it was the new key signature on the bottom line here. Um, and so it's a key signature of two flats, so it's B flat major. Um, but I think if you maybe put G minor, then you'd also get a mark there. Um, it's just, yeah, understanding that two flats is, is either B flat major or G minor. And question eight, what scale degree of this new key, so B flat major, on the bottom line on the soprano part, so it's number seven, because it's A, so it's the notes before our tonic note of B flat. Next question, it was the interval between the two soprano parts um, in the second bar of the top system on the word angels. It's thirds. Um, so for all syllables of angels, um, it's a third between these two soprano parts. Question 10, what country was Sanford from? He is from Ireland. So if you knew that fact, well done, a bit of a rogue one there. So don't worry if you didn't know that, you should do now. So the next question, more general questions now. So what is louder, MP or MF? It's MF, um, which means mezzo forte, um, mediumly loud. That's not a word, mediumly. Um, medium loud uh, rather than medium quiet. Well done. Question 12, what does più lento mean? It means slower. So più means more, lento is slower, so a bit slower. The general translation for that. Uh, it was this symbol, what does it do to a note? It's a flat and it lowers a note by a semitone. So the opposite of a sharp. Remember a sharp looks like a hashtag, a flat looks like a B. Question 14, what do we do at this symbol? We gradually get quieter so it's a diminuendo and the last question from last week um is the organ loft on deck or can i think i've got this right is it on can Miss Morgan? yeah it is on can perfect so well done if you got that one um good so now to this week's questions so the first question we've got here um i've got four items in the table there um, can you sort those four items into two categories? So each category should have two of those items in. So look what we've got um, and see how we could divide those things up. We've got Te Deum, Nunc Dimittis, Magnificat and Jubilate. So see if you recognise those words um, and can remember what they mean or what they refer to. Question, tr question two, true or false? The first scale degree is also called the tonic. Think about what those two things mean independently. And could they reference the same note? Question number three. So we've got a sequence here. We've got C major slash A minor, then G major slash E minor, and then D major slash and then something. And can you tell us what the something is? So what's missing in this sequence, in this pattern? Question four, how do we remember what the space notes are in the bass clef? So this might be 
a word or a phrase and you might have your own way of remembering it but you can you write down how we could remember these space notes next question what do we use to remember the order we add the sharps in key signatures okay because remember the order we add the sharps doesn't change um so two sharps is going to have the same sharp that have that featured in one sharp um so they add e each time you get an, an extra sharp um so but what, what can we use to remember the order we add them um, number six so like last week we've got a piece to look at now so assuming we are in a major can you write down all the scale degrees which feature in the word magnify so there should be seven numbers here some might be repeated so look at this red box so all of those scale degrees within that red box in order so you could pause this might take you a while so we're in a major Next question. So it's, this is part of the same piece. Question number seven. What should you do on spirit half? So see if there are any markings, any symbols. We might have already come across them. Um, maybe going through the answers for last week's quiz. Um, so look really closely. Um, what do you need to do on spirit half? Question eight. How do we measure the distance between notes? And Morel has left us a hint. The word begins with in, so distance between notes. Question number nine. How many psalms are there in total? What's the total number of psalms? We have, this is a fun fact that we have spoken about before, so see if you can remember um, or see how close you can get. Question 10. Name one way a psalm is similar to a hymn. So think about how we sing psalms and how we sing hymns, anything at all which is similar. Question number 11. How many crotchets fit into a semi brief How many crotchets fit into a semi brief Question 12. During even song, what do we sing after the first set of responses? So you've just sung, oh Lord, open now our lips, and you go straight into something else. Question number 13. What minor key has this key signature? So we've got a treble and a bass clef um, with one sharp. What minor key has that key signature? Question 14. So you need some paper for this. Can you draw a semi quaver rest? So maybe think, think of a quaver, think about the difference between a quaver and a semi-quaver, how those two look, and then try and translate that into a rest. And then the last question, question 15. Is there a single note which is longer than a semi brief So here you only need to have a, a yes or no, but if you know, well, if you think there is a single note that's longer than a semi brief um, which there may or not be, of course, may or may not be, of course. Um, see, see if you can name that as well. Um, I might have given it away, but you know. <laughs> and that's the quiz um, for this week. So thank you very much for watching. Um, and we'll see you in the live rehearsals, obviously. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions about, about the theory quizzes, um, do contact us on Teams. Um, but you can also use the, the Gmail email address, music theory queries. Um, so do get in touch if you need to um, and have a good week and I'll see you next time. So bye Miss Morgan, I'll see you soon. Bye Mr. Morel.